Welcome to the Pro Kitchen All Display Settings video demo. Now, everybody's familiar with the display settings, but we've added a new one. And it's located up here under Settings, of course, and it's Save All Display Settings. And what this one's going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to go in and change our display settings in each view and be able to come back and reopen Pro Kitchen with a new design and automatically have those existing settings that we already set open with it. Or we can set up multiple display settings. You know, you can set up one for each contractor if you want to. And that way you can do things, you know, specifically for that contractor in your different views. And we're going to walk through real quick here and we're going to take a look at our views because many Pro Kitchen users don't understand what the views are for. We've got view one, which is our layout. We're going to click on view two and whoa, it looks just like view one. View three, view four, and view five, yeah, they look all the same. So what are they for? Well, let me show you what they're for. View two, I'm going to go into view two. I'm going to my display settings. And here, what I want to do is I want to turn off all of the cabinets except for the base cabinets. You'll notice I left those on. Now I'm clicking unclicking the visible box here. I want to leave my appliances and my plumbing. I don't have any furniture in there, but I'm going to turn it off anyways, just for good measure. Now my room elements, those are my walls and my doors and stuff. I want to leave those in there too, so I'm not going to mess with that. My countertops and trims, I do want to leave my countertop, but I don't want my moldings to show up because it would look kind of funny to have just crown molding shooting around the room where cabinets are supposed to be. So I'm going to click on the molding uh, folder this time instead of the plus. If I click on this, it's going to give me an option here, but I want to turn off all of them. So I'm going to click on the folder. This brings in a new field up here, a use for all in group. And so I'm going to leave the check mark in that and I'm going to uncheck the visibles. That's going to turn off all of my moldings. My ceiling trims I want to turn off, my accessories and onlays, which I don't have, I want to turn off. I'm going to leave the lighting on, but I'm going to turn off the decorative items. Now I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see now, we have just base cabinets, appliances, and plumbing, and countertop. So now that we've established this one, if I click on my view 3, I've already set it up to just have the wall cabinets, and the wall trims up here. View 4 is just countertops and I need to go in and add the rest of my dimensions. And View 5 is back to the original. So I'm going to click back here on View 1, bring this back up. Now I'm going to go up to my settings and save all settings. And From here you've got our original Pro Kitchen settings so you can click on this at any time and bring it back to the original settings. If you already have settings saved you can bring them up with the load settings but in this case we want to save settings. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to name this Settings, settings 1. And we'll save it. And now I've got my Settings 1 in here. So when I come back, so we'll go out of here, come back, same design, but you know this could be a few days later when you're in a different design. We're going to go to Save All Display Settings. If I want to bring these settings back up, I go to Load Settings, and here we go. Settings 1, select it, open. We're right back to here. Click OK because I want to keep them, and there are my settings. Here's my View 2, my View 3, my View 4 is back in there, and my View 5. So one more time, we're just going to walk through this real quick. Save all display settings because I have already have them set the way I want. Now I'm going to reload my original Pro Kitchen settings. Why can I do that? Because I already have my other ones saved. Original Pro Kitchen settings. And here we go. All my views look the same again. This makes it very quick and very easy to save specific settings just the way you want them in Pro Kitchen and reuse them time and time again instead of having to come back and redo them for each design. And the great thing is is you can have four, five, or six, ten, fifteen, however many you want, different sets of settings in there. 
I know when I was a, a kitchen designer, I had one contractor who had very specific requirements on his layouts, and I'd have to come in and do the different views differently f every time I did a kitchen for him. This is going to save the kitchen designer a lot of time and effort when that's required. And this has been the All Display Settings Pro Kitchen video demo. Thank you for watching.